tension. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what the hell just happened. I would just like you to know that our fork extensions over here are underneath our other first gen. Hence, hence the struggle bus, okay? We do, we do actually know what we're doing here, kind of, sort of, sort of. We're setting up your presentation booth. I did not do that on purpose either. Wham. We got some 12 valve stuff from our boys at Fleece. Not one, two boxes. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. We have got some 12 valve stuff, some long, long awaited 12 valve stuff. Now this is something that is going to date back to when we first put together the gray first gen in the driveway back in New Jersey. I honestly got so many questions about this specific thing that we did. And now come like five, six years later, full circle, what's in this box kind of totally revamps part of what we did on this build. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna unbox this stuff. We'll show you guys what these guys got going on. But the guys over at Fleece, taking care of some of the first gen and kind of like 12 valve in general uh, needs fuel system wise. So what we've got here is Fleece Performance's new SureFlow and PowerFlow uh, kind of sending unit slash lift pumps for 12 valve. So what we've got over here, we've got our uh, extended cab first gen project, which this is a 92 model truck. And over here, we have got our other 93 first gen. Now this stuff, like I, I keep mentioning first gen and 12 valve because it's basically uh, from first gen years all the way up until 98. So it's really more of a 12 valve thing than it is just a first gen. We just have two examples of first gens here that we're gonna put a sure flow on one and a power flow on one. We're gonna kinda get into the differences, but stay tuned and we're gonna, we're gonna, kinda, we're gonna dive into this now. Guys, we're gonna take it from the top on these two different units from Fleece. They are a little bit different. Again, this is the Sure Flow, this is the Power Flow. They kind of both solve and do a lot of different things, and it just so happens that this is a perfect example for a Sure Flow pump. Wrong. I'm sorry, not a pump, not a pump. I keep saying Sure Flow pump. This is a Sure Flow sending unit. It is actually pumpless. So if I say Sure Flow pump, that's my bad. This is a SureFlow sending unit. One of the huge major things that the SureFlow has got going for it. If you have a 12 valve truck, first gen or second gen, and you need a sending unit, and we'll pull out a sending unit and in this truck over here and kind of see what it looks like. It's most likely corroded, bad. If your, if your fuel gauge is not working properly, again, this is going to do quite a few things and we'll get into each one specifically, but that is the SureFlow in a nutshell. The power flow is a pump. So the power flow, kind of a lot of like all of our uh, fourth gens that we do, uh, we use the power flow lift pump because it has got two OE style lift pumps in the basket here. Again, still ascending unit, still has the arm right here for your fuel level, but this incorporates a pump. This incorporates a pump. This is just a sending unit in and of itself, but it can do a lot more than just replace a sending unit if you have an aftermarket fuel system already on your truck. So that's what we're kind of battling, right? Does your truck have a fuel system already on it? Does it need a fuel system on it? So plenty of different uses and a plenty of different problem solving features on each one. So let's start with 
the power flow pump. So this is our extended cap first gen truck, completely bone stock. We've got our engine over there. Obviously, we're, it's not a complete truck. It has no fuel lines on it. It has no wiring on it. But if you follow me over here, one thing about this is uh, the base of this pump can work with uh the quick connects you can run a in it's very modular to the way you want to run your lift pump on the truck so again this will work for p pumps and ve pumps obviously ve pumps and p pumps take different pressures but this kit is still designed for both applications you just have to change it to a p pump spring and insto presto you have all of the pressure for your P-Pump. The one thing about the first gens is you'll see that the years on their website go up to or down to say 91. 91 and down, like 89 to 91, actually has a different fuel tank in it. So if you wanna use this, but you have an 89 to a 90 or 91 truck, you basically need to make sure that your fuel tank is in an updated truck. The way that the uh, sending unit sits in here is a different diameter. Take a look at this gem right here. As you can see, none of this is a good idea to be in <laughs> your fuel tank. I don't think you'd want that going through your fuel system. Again, a lot of older trucks have an issue with this not functioning along with all of this in there. They kind of like degrade. There's metal sitting we're literally just waiting to go into your fuel system. This truck specifically, we have no aftermarket fuel system on it currently. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to use the power flow lift pump design in this truck because it doesn't have a fuel system. So we're gonna get all of the features of the sending unit, but with the pumps. So we're gonna get a fuel system. We're gonna fix our sending unit. We're gonna get it clean. We're going to be able to route it the way we want it and everything is going to work and function again there's no need and we'll get into it on the uh, sure flow we don't need a sump we don't need anything the way that this functions and works is we've got these check valves in the bottom here that are going to be our low level fuel fill up this basket this base here and these pumps are going to draw right from here all of the returns are going to go right through here they're going to come back down so we have no air in our fuel system again if you look right here one of the cool features that i really really love about these things is the o-ring metric o-ring thread on these you can do a lot of different things you can also use this as a return right here so you can have a feed to your engine your return right here on your factory fuel lines. Again, this, this can be 100% drop in on your 12 valve truck. You don't need to get crazy, you don't need to get wild. As you can see, the factory little quick connect styles. We'll get into some of the installation part here on the power flow. Obviously you have a wiring harness, you have half inch fuel lines, and you've got some stuff to connect it. So let's go over to the engine on the power flow if you were to install this on a truck and just imagine that the factory fuel lines were on that truck and we plugged everything in and we ran our fuel line up to our engine so on your 12 valve truck here here's your factory pump that you're going to end up taking off of your truck and then you're going to use the fleece basically plate here that covers that up you're going to have your half inch fuel line that is going to come up to where your factory filter is right here and then you're going to use their fittings and it is going to hook right into which again i know it's hard to see because there's a wiring harness in the way but you can see this banjo bolt right here is what kind of comes down to your factory style pump right there what you would do is you would run your new line right up to your filter here's all the new fittings that would come with that as you can see new banjo right there with a fitting and you can kind of sneak that basically right in there and that would take the place of that and your new feed line would come right up to that push lock fitting that banjo fitting is going to go right into your filter right there and you are ready to rock that hopefully explains the installation on your power flow pump if you're gonna opt for that with the pumps if you don't have a fuel system on your truck. Now, a lot of 12 valve guys already have pumps 
and lift pumps on their truck. Maybe the problem that you're having with your 12 valve is that you already have a fuel system on it, but maybe your sending unit isn't working, your fuel gauge isn't working, or you just wanna use a different style. What this is going to do is have a lot of the cool same features, has the same big block up top here that you can change your fittings right here. You can run AN style in and out by changing these fittings. You can also have a second return here. That way you do not need to run a sump. You do not need to run a return into your filler neck. This is very, very nice for say a custom application or if your sending unit, your level gauge isn't working. This is a little bit more of a complete truck here that I can kind of show you guys. It's a one-way check valve on the bottom. This is whole basket is going to fill up with fuel. So your low level issues are completely solved and it is going to pull right from the bottom. What we did way, way, way back in the day, and you can kind of see it on this tank. We have a sump that we drilled in there. And for our return, because we're running a uh, aftermarket fuel system on the truck, we've got our return from our engine, and then we've got our return from uh, the actual pump itself. Those are going right back into the top of the filter neck. We had to basically get some bulkhead connections. We had to go ahead and get another one of these blank plates and, and drill and screw them, which isn't always the easiest thing to find because these sending units are getting so hard to come across. What we did is we basically modified a sending unit, we gutted it, we changed it. We did a lot of different things to kind of work with our aftermarket system here. This can solve a lot of different problems in and of itself and be a super, super, super nice addition and fix a lot of stuff. Now, the way they have you wire these things in, and again, these trucks are very, very old. This pigtail connection right here is also a huge problem point on these trucks. When they started taking these trucks apart to kind of make this kit up, a lot of issues were actually right in this connector. So the way that they actually have you wire these up, because as you can see, this is a different style connector here than right here. This is not a direct plug and play. What they have you do is actually take this out of the equation and fix that and wire that to the specific year of your truck because the older trucks, some of them are different year to year right, to so year. Just to go over the wiring just a little bit so you guys are just a little bit more familiar with it. I went ahead and printed these off. These are right off of Fleece's website for the SureFlow and the PowerFlow. So right up here, you guys can see 91 to 93, they give you the breakdown of that connector on your fuel tank. 96 to 97, you're gonna have a different connector than what we're looking at here on that first gen. Same style connection that they're gonna give you right here, which is a solid connection, the one that you're not gonna have to worry about. So again, you guys can see, they're telling you and giving you the diagrams, super easy to go ahead and do. 94, 95, 98. Again, you gotta look and see what your connector is and they're gonna help you out by doing that. So just so you know, it's not, it, don't make me overcomplicate it. It's very easy, no issue with the connection. Go right there, right here. Click, bada bing, bada boom. And then right here where all this is rigid, you'll get down into here where it's nice and we can separate this connector right here because the last thing that you wanna do is put this in and then still have issues same with over there so you need to make sure your factory wiring is good but you'll get into this just a little bit further down here and then on 91 to 93 right here factory connected you have a green blue yellow stripe so you can see the green green blue and yellow stripe and then right here green blue and yellow stripe these are the nice boys. On this one, what we're gonna do, and again, I know we're not doing really a complete installation on either one of these trucks because they're both in different parts, but really just wanted to highlight new products that are out there that would help you guys if you guys are ready to install a fuel system on a 12 valve truck, or if you're getting ready to redo something, or if you just have issues with your factory parts. That's what's so cool about this. I think it can actually do many different things and solve a lot of different problems. So this, we're actually gonna be fixing this truck up with a different aftermarket pump system. We're gonna be ditching all of this stuff. We're gonna be utilizing 
all of the fittings that they have up here, really, really clean it up, make it really, really nice. And then on this truck over here, what we're gonna end up doing is getting our factory harness laid back in this truck. And we're gonna go ahead and use our dual pump design and use this fuel system. We don't have a hole in the bottom of our tank yet. We're gonna keep it that way. If I don't have to drill holes in anything, that is always my preferred method to keep it clean, to keep it nice, completely drop in one line up the front, some lines to the back and we'll be ready to rock and we'll ditch all of this garbage in one shot with this bad boy so that is pretty much going to wrap up this video guys like i said not a complete installation but you will see complete installations when we're at the proper time using both the power flow and the sure flow sending unit um, and i think that's the cool part they can do they can fit whatever you're building really really cool so don't go drill holes in anything because you can't undo drilling holes and things and there you go there's stuff out there modern stuff for old trucks to make it nice and to fix your broken junk but that's pretty much going to wrap up this video guys these are on the website these are available they're ready to go right now so go check them out fleece.com a lot of other different places and that's it we'll see you guys in the next video scoop them up we'll see you guys see ya that was a lot that was a lot that was one take yeah did you guys get all that that was a lot of information it was a lot of information i told you guys i was going to try and go through it fast because you guys always you know but it's a new product there's a lot to go over there's a lot of things you know look at what this is leaving down in this tank see all that in there can the camera see that oh yeah there's metal sitting literally just waiting to go into your fuel system that is lovely not absolute pile of shit. so if you care about your truck i would strongly suggest you do not have this going on